Hi, this is the monthly horoscope for Aries for the month of August 2023. Sorry, I am late on these by three days, so forgive me. Show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Also, I'll be doing the daily horoscopes this evening as well or tonight, so be sure to stay around and subscribe to the channel so you know when the daily horoscopes pop up, or you can check them out on TikTok or the Gram. Sometimes I do have problems with the Gram and the TikTok because I do it on my phone, and then when I do it on my phone, it takes up like so much of my damn memory. Oh my gosh. So I do it so you can always check on the YouTube just in case. So anyways, my Ram. So we had the full moon in Aquarius here. Um, and it was forming a kite energy with the 11th, 3rd, and the 7th, your 1st. 11th, 3rd, and 7th house. So this was change happening. You may make new friends during this time period. Others seem to share your interests. You may be more mentally alert and communicative than usual. It is a good time to focus on solving problems at intense concentration um, happening here. Friendships tend to be more practical. So you could be um, being more about like updating your home at this time and fixing things around the home or needing other people's services at this time with this energy and hiring people to help you. It is a good time to seek advice from uh, those who are older than you and wiser. You may have an important talk with your mate about a serious or long range issues. It is a good time for contracts to be agreed upon. Um, as it's likely the terms are more clear at this time and less ambiguous. Relationships with coworkers improve as well as your working environment. You may have to move to a larger office or be promoted. This is a great time for cures to illnesses at this time. You could be feeling better or this could be um, going into business for yourself at this time, just keeping or turning a hobby into a business with this energy. It's a beautiful time period with the full moon energy for the next three days um, because, because it's going to gain favorable results with this energy be careful about finances and seek a second opinion at this time um, about a worth of an item of something that you have or an heirloom um, something that you're trying to sell I feel for some of you watch your finances you could be a little bit unrealistic about um, your financial expectations at this time so for some of you ah that invest your money in certain things now or start a business you're not gonna see dividends happening like anytime soon probably um, the problem at this time you tend to attract parasites into your life so I would be careful of this because um, for some of you this could be somebody really taking advantage of you at this time and turning your loving energy or something that you do that is really loving into a nasty situation okay so be careful what you do for other people at this time and it can also be a draining experience for you also this is a time you're not receiving your recognition this could be a frustrating time with dealing with other people with this energy here so you may not be getting along with others you want your thank you you want your recognition for some of you, you could be um you could be sharing the spotlight with with other people at this time and it could make you feel some kind of damn way about sharing the spotlight with other people because maybe they're getting all the credit and you're just there smiling you know and that's it and you're not really receiving the attention that you want to receive at this time then on the 16th at 5 38 a.m eastern standard time the new moon in leo where it's going to be conjunct with volcanus here and we still have the lilith moon for a little bit in the sign of leo as it goes direct and goes retrograde goes direct and goes retrograde so it goes back and forth between leo and virgo here for a little bit this is a beautiful energy time for lots and you can feel this energy two weeks before and two weeks after okay um so this is a time where you have a lot of positive changes are happening with business can be picking up you may benefit through a significant other or other people in your life you can be grounded with this energy as plans work out exactly as planned receiving some much needed good news this is a great time for communications with others um, with this energy you can be reconnecting with people from your past because now we're in shadow period if you had a falling out with somebody or a kind of misunderstanding now it can get resolved here but it doesn't mean that it's actually fixed because either you or this person are not over it relationships become more fluid and exciting existing partnership arrangements may be simplified and offer greater convenience a great freedom may be desired by your marriage partner marriage or partnerships may be going through um, a separation with this energy 
energy here. I feel for others of you, you could be experimenting with your relationship, trying to put new life into it. You're likely to get caught up in pleasant conversations with neighbors and relatives. You may receive invitations for social events. Relationships with siblings and relatives should be good. The office is running more efficiently now than usual, and this could be a nice pace, and you could be enjoying the pace that it's going. Now, we get a stellum here on August 23rd at 5.01 because the Lilith moon will be in Virgo. I think Pallas is in Virgo at this time. The Vortex is in Virgo at this time. So at 5.01 a.m., and it's going to be in your sixth house of daily routine and pets. For some of you, the focus can be on your pets. For others of you, the focus could be on purchasing a pet. You can be bored with your routine as well, either with your gym workout or your diet at this time, and you could be switching things up. You could be feeling restless at this time because of the monotony of career. You could be feeling burnt out at this time not the easiest time period for my Aries here the month of Virgo is not until after Rosh Hashanah which is I think is like September 13th through the 15th that you actually start to feel this energy shift and things become more interesting for you so during this time period here all the way up to Rosh Hashanah which is like September 15th or the 13th that you will start to feel very restless very bored very anxious with this energy here because really nothing is going on at this time this would be a good time to ask if you could be doing ask people at work if you could do something else at this time with this energy um, like you know if you work fast food instead of working the line work cashier, work prep, this would be a great time to ask um, for, for make requests to be moved around a little bit to keep things interesting. Um, you know, you're just over, your, you're just getting over certain situations at this time with work, so you could be looking for a new job at this time with this energy because you're just over it or you're just over the monotony and the routine. Um, for some of you who are 30 and younger, you could be making not the best decisions at this time and you're bored with your routine, so you may be getting into fights with other people because you're bored. That's what Rams do, duh. Okay, um, just to stir the pot a little bit and make things interesting in your life your employer is likely to be more demanding and bossy at this time um, those of you who are in like 40 and under so you could be feeling that pressure here with this energy and butting heads with your employer on the 23rd at 3 59 p.m mercury goes retrograde till september 14th and it's in your sixth house again so you can feel productive with this energy you're likely to um, start a new routine or you may like your routine at this time you can feel more organized the sixth house is not well aspected to your 12th house you're definitely ah my nose feeling bored with this energy this is a good time for publishing law and higher education you may receive important news about legal matters travel may be somewhat inconvenient avoid self-righteousness fighting with other people at this time i feel also for some of you could be banking on certain things to um, come to fruition during the month of mercury and retrograde till the 14th and then you got to give it two weeks after so in the month of let me see october whatever it is that you've been banking on or waiting for either october or november when pluto goes direct that's when that situation is going to start happening or it can even happen in the beginning of the year when pluto goes into aquarius i would be careful with mercury and retrograde so certain things that you've been promised may not pan out exactly how you want them to so this could be get kind of upset an upsetting time for you because you're not getting what you want when it comes to career here then on the 27th at 9:28 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mars enters Libra. This is in your seventh house of relationships. This is a time where you're very analytical in your way of thinking. I feel this is um, like a great time to get your flirt on. I feel like you benefit through the men in your life. You could be attracting men um, into your life like, like bees to honey at this time because you're so charming with this energy here. So this could be also you being a great problem solver, seeing things as black and white. You don't like to be emotional dumped on at this time um, you're more likely because Chiron's in retrograde and in Aries and you're like you know you're kind of like pull your pull your bootstraps up and move on get over it you know like you're that kind of person right now with this energy and if you were that kind of person anyways even more so because you just don't like that you're not very uh, you're not very sympathetic to other people's causes at this time with this energy because you're like more about bigger picture you know there's people who are homeless there are people who are starving and you're bitching and complaining about your damn job and how you don't like your damn job and you're gonna be like so up and quit bitch okay let somebody else that really wants your job come and get it it's gonna be like that it's gonna be like you gonna go, you're gonna be like that it's gonna be like ooh, you know like you're gonna be that one yelling at everybody it's gonna be like ooh, 
okay for some of you you could be getting into arguments with your younger lover because mars in the seventh house represents um younger younger lovers okay but also it represents um so there's significant age difference between you two but also represents um someone that is volatile and argumentative so you could be dealing with a leo an aquarius a gemini or or um even a Sagittarius, okay, um, with this energy. So you can be dealing with somebody who's a bit of a hothead and likes to argue, okay? Now, Mars is not well aspected here. So if you don't have Mars well aspected in your na in your personal natal chart, you're going to find yourself not getting along with dominating people and you're going to be attracting a lot of weirdos. Don't answer your DMs at this time because it's going to be like, damn, okay? It's going to be like, <laughs> what in the hell you know for others of you you're not getting along yeah with dominating people yeah okay so if your personal natal chart also has mars in the seventh house you can check out astro theme then you will find that you are really attracting weirdos or having weird experience with men at this time with this energy so it's just that like basically if you go walking down the street and you just walking money your ba your damn business like literally not even a thought in your damn head just walking straight not even looking at nobody walking straight and then you're gonna find somebody call you a bitch and it's gonna be like what the hell did i do you know, and you're going to be like, okay, but that, that happens. Okay. So on August 28th at 10 39 PM, Uranus goes retrograde in the second house of money. Not the best time for money here. Okay. So you could be very resourceful with your money. You could be more about saving your money. This is a good time for clarity. Those of you with businesses, business can slow down at this time. This would be a good time for experimenting with new things, new ways of doing things, new ways of promoting yourself, different projects. And this is till um, January 29th, 2024. And the retrograde is forming a yod energy here with your planets in the ninth house with Ceres and Zeus so at this time there's a new there's there are new opportunities being presented but because you have Mercury in retrograde you have a stellum in your seventh house you have Uranus and Jupiter and Taurus at this time and then you got Pluto in retrograde in Capricorn in your 10th house you're not so quick to move you're not so quick to jump into anything you're a little bit more strategic you're a little bit more slow mo moving those of you who have a stellum in the sign of Libra and Cancer you could be a bit indecisive or confused or you want to mull things over and really overthink things at this time okay so this could be real missed opportunities coming up for some of you, you could be traveling to go back to school here um, this could be job opportunities coming up for you in a different state or country or people telling you to move out of your state because you can't afford it because of the cost of living and they could be offering you a room abroad okay or room to stay with them but you're probably not going to take it with this energy because you're you need to learn your own lessons at this time like i said you're not so you're, you don't like change at this time and you kind of like want everything to stay the same so it, it has to be by your hand and you have to dial into certainty at this time and tap into that mars and libra energy this month and that's what's going to be your saving grace at the end of the month august 30th at 9 35 p.m the full moon in pisces you are prone to die this is your 12th house of subconscious and um self-undoing prison um so this is feelings of guilt and obsession with the past which is hard to shake you may have unfinished business with a woman in your life change is happening you may have a hard time maintaining emotional balance you have mood swings that are rather drastic this may be because you neglected your personal life in the past and now things are catching up with you you need to face the conflicts underlying the this relationship including toxic elements obsession possession possessiveness and jealousy if you try to avoid conflict conflict or ignore ignore the tension the dramatic pull toward change release and transformation will be get will become more obvious and very pronounced be careful during this time period in working with other people because it could be a situation here where you want like your partner to forgive you and you're trying to get all lovey-dovey because they broke up with you and they don't want to talk to you you're separated from them and you're trying to go back to them at this time with this energy um but they're still upset with you so you may have difficulties with love relationships and also here don't play with people at this time this could be a situation here where you are playing with other people you're being joking you know but you know how y'all do you sometimes you play a little bit too hard and a little bit too rough with the with the um bantering 
okay, with the bantering and stuff like that. And it's going to be a situation here with the bantering that you are going to banter and do this a little bit, antagonize a little bit too much. And then this person's not going to want to talk with you at all. This person's going to avoid you like the plague. This person will be avoiding you like COVID. They're going to be like, no, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. And then next thing you know, you're going through the whole Mercury retrograde, not talking to this person. And then you got to wait the two weeks and you probably still won't be talking to this person. You might not talk to this person until November. Okay. So this is something to think about. Pick and choose your battles with other people don't play with other people too much okay because they they can't handle the antagonism okay so be careful with this energy the first card i come up with is the hermit card you can be more to yourself at this time with this energy or you're just a lot more quiet because of the planets going in retrograde and stuff and a lot of earth in your chart at this time making you a lot more quiet and to yourself a little bit more reserved this is a time of moving forward and this is a time of getting over grief or maybe you're going through it emotionally or you're walking away from somebody that did you dirty at this time and you're not coming back okay you'd rather be alone than with enemies like these who need who needs friends so you're walking away from the situation there's also traveling coming up for some of you for others you get the hell out of your damn head you could be all up in your feels this is the full card bringing about new beginnings I feel for some of you here, whatever is going on at this time, you're keeping it inside, okay? I feel like this is bittersweet. I feel like you're excited about the new new beginnings coming up, but you're sad because you're ending certain situations in your life. You're making certain sacrifices in your life and for the bigger good, okay? For some of you, you could have a chance meeting here, either with love at this time with this energy. The um, King of Wands, you can be dealing with like a fire sign. This person is stuck in their ways of thinking with this energy or unwilling to change um, with this energy. It's kind of like it's a my way or highway kind of attitude. I'm getting the Three of Swords. You could be dealing with a Libra. This is traveling coming up for some of you here. I'm picking up cars. For some of you, be careful with this energy. There could be some car problems coming up or, your car, or you could be like running late for work with this energy. Also, there is traveling coming coming forward, quick messages coming up at this time, or fast messages coming in. For some of you here, I don't know, okay, we, we do any reading. Okay, some of you here, I feel like the sign of cancer is coming through at this time. For some of you, you could be dealing, you could be starting a new creative project with this energy, but you're not going to see it all the way through. You're only going to see it all the way through till the month of September when Neptune, when, um, Okay, for some of you, this project is going to last till when Neptune goes direct. And then for others of you, this project is going to last till September when um, Mercury goes direct. Okay, so this is like a short thing. The Nine of Cups, my yes card to whatever question I did not answer is yes with this energy. The Five of Cups, this is dealing with shoulda, woulda, coulda, regrets, what ifs. So you could have some chance meetings at this time, but you may not do something about it. This could be dealing with like a crush and then you choosing to walk away. Okay, this is dealing with like HR or a district and you choosing to walk away rather than stand there and talk to them um, with this energy, okay? I feel like this is a great time for life coaches or you could be um, seeing a life coach or counselor with this energy. I feel that this could be epiphanies happening here as well. You may have words of wisdom to share with other people, but the problem is Mercury is in retrograde at this time. So whatever it is that you hear it from the universe, it may be hard to catch at this time. You may have beautiful words of wisdom. I've had this. I had I had this during a Mercury retrograde where you get like beautiful words of wisdom and stuff like that. And I mean, just like wow stuff you know so if you don't remember it it's okay it wasn't meant for you to hear you just heard it by accident it was for more for your soul okay so that's why you are hearing it but you're going to forget it because mercury's in retrograde the ace of cups emotional validation things coming to fruition that you want to come to fruition luck is on your side this month with this energy i feel like for some of you here this could be online dating or you could be talking to somebody during the mercury retrograde and falling in love with this person's mind there's a spiritual love here as well so this relationship could last during the mercury retrograde and could be like one of those you know we're ending our saturn dasha and pisces and beginning the one in leo so this could be a potential soulmate coming into your life as well i feel like for some of you here you're reaching your highest potential here so you could be really working on yourself you could be really learning something new as well with this energy this is a transformative time for you um, with this energy, I feel like more transformative, emotional transformation. I feel for some of you here that you could be dealing with somebody that's really stuck in their ways of thinking. I see a very somebody who's very opinionate, opinionated, and you could be dealing with a Leo sign. 
or Capricorn. Um, but this could also be a time period here where you could be um, dealing with somebody that's kind of stuck in their ways of thinking and they're not willing to change. And sometimes you just have to let the baby fall on their face before they decide they're going to change. The Page of Cups, I hate this card. So love may not be coming in anytime soon, but you could be receiving a small message. This could also be dating. Like I said, you're talking to somebody at this time. The Revelations card, I feel like for some of you here, there's a lot of epiphanies. There's a lot of words of wisdom of revelations of epiphanies happening this could be a rebirthing and emotional like i said in, like i said during this reading this is a transformative time period for you this is an emotional transformative time period of emotional transformation you know so how you handle it is up to you because you could choose to go with the flow or like for some of you you may fight with this energy here and it can be an, an like a, a um confusing emotional time for you you know and you may not be ready for the changes that it presents to you the star card manifesting what you want during this time period hope reigns supreme with this energy as well wish fulfillment happening here beautiful again beautiful energy for you okay lots of things coming to fruition um recommitting yourself to your goals so for some of you this could be opportunities with career second chances with career coming up and for some of you you could be trying to go back to your old job as well you may have a falling out with management for some of you and you may be trying to go back they'll let you back in and i do feel like you will um, have an opportunity to prove yourself. You could be very thankful for your job and delving into gratitude a lot more than usual. For others of you, I feel like this could be a situation here where you have an opportunity to prove yourself again in regards to growth, like becoming a manager and things like that. That could be coming up for you as well. So you're putting your best foot forward with this energy, okay? I feel also with this energy here, you can be gullible during this time period because there's six house energy so be careful don't believe everything that you hear you can find that your students could be lying to you a lot especially at school or co-workers could be lying to you at this time and saying they need to do this when really they're going to a party or something so don't believe everything that you hear at this time with this energy the hierophant card deals with groups and organizations here i feel like you could be um dealing with you could be dealing with a lot of changes going on at work here so not a lot of people are coming back to work with this energy or it could be a situation here like the kids going to college and you could be missing them at this time and this could be like um the kids at work going back to college and you could be missing them um with this energy for others of you this could be people quitting their jobs at this time you know mercury mercury and retrograde is happening so work can become like a revolving door you know and uranus and retrograde too so you can see a lot of firing and hiring going on the justice card deals with court for some of you i feel Feel like you're getting what you wish for at this time with this energy this could also be truth being revealed okay and this could also be dealing with the core i'm hearing cop i'm hearing popo investigations so certain investigations to certain crimes could be reopened oh jesus mother uh, why we always gotta go here oh my gosh can we talk about lemon drops and unicorn balls for once? Oh my gosh. And then half of you can be like, you're so negative. No, I'm sorry. This is sometimes people's reality. I can't make this stuff up. Okay, so I feel like I see cops. Okay, I see dark. And I feel like there's something, there's something that happened. Possible shooting. And I feel like there's going to be truth revealed. Oh, my shiz naivete. Oh, I'm not going to go into it. Okay, so like truth going to be revealed on that. Okay, so what did, was done in the dark going to be brought to the light now. The Four of Swords, yeah. This is renegotiations. This is contracts. This is um, getting a divorce. This is a great time for litigations. This is a great time for court with this energy for some of you. So this could be also justice being served at this time. This is a great time for those of you in media and social media during this time period as well. The Magician card, a time for destiny here. So I feel like prayers are gonna be answered. I feel like an ex is gonna come back or you're reconnecting with somebody you're not over with. For some of you, this is the ex coming back and you're like, stay the hell away from me. For some of you, you're dealing with separation and loss at this time. And all you could think about is your your part your whoever passed the important person in your life passed and uh, for others of you i see like a lot of prayers being answered at this time with this energy you have a great level of self-control because certain things that you want are falling into place you're being more responsible for some of you here you're taking care of your personal business at this time you're getting your life back on track this is a turn of events happening here as well so expect the unexpected um dealing with court 
support could take a while for some of you here or because all the planets are in retrograde. So I'll give it to like November because they may reschedule you, I feel like. But court could be promising at this time with the star card. And you're going to re be recommitting yourself to your career, to your job, to your business at this time. So you might receive some like epiphanies or fan mail at this time. And then it's going to help you recommit. The Ten of Wands. You're very much depressed. You can be a skeptic, a cynic, a realist at this time with this energy, okay? And it could be like a really heavy energy time for you. I feel like you are going to find more things to complain about than usual with this energy. The Tower card talks of change coming up for you with this energy. I feel like for some of you here, you could have, you could be leaving a group or organization at this time. Fate is definitely kicking in. So your routine, sixth house, Stellum in the sixth house, your routine is definitely going to change so this could be like for some of you because you're not like a true like you're like your son in aries is somewhere else but some of you because if you do a progression chart you change like wherever you want like for career you would do like second sixth and eighth house or tenth house or eleventh house um to look at your your chart so it changes the signs yeah so that's astrology astrology is more complicated but this could be a situation here where like you could be doing well with your business. Business can be picking up because you have like a stellum in your sixth house. Plus you have a beautiful earth trine happening this month. And this could be your routine changing. For some of you, you could get into a relationship at this time with this energy. Or because you have been so busy, you may feel the need to be more about your personal life. And you could be changing your routine that way. Because now you're feeling, okay, I need to spend more time doing me and less time doing what everybody else wants me to do so you could be a little bit more like um selfish with your time and energy the empress card um dealing with the women in your life somebody is definitely obsessed with you or you're obsessed with them with this energy here um during this time period let me see you benefit through mother or the women in your life for some of you, you could be moving closer with mother or the women in your life, you could be moving in with mother. For some of you, you could be visiting mother during this time period. This is a time for your new normal. Expect delays while traveling. The temperance card, you're more about your sanity. You have a great level of self-control with this energy here. I feel like you'd be very focused at this time if you want to be. The death card, I see you climbing the corporate ladder at this time. There's more money coming to you. There's also a purging. So again, certain things, whoever, whatever has to leave your life, let it leave your life at this time with this energy. And the page of wands this is a transformative time for you i feel like for some of you the focus could be more on your children and them going back to school or helping them get into school or helping them not get into school but helping them get like a head start with like learning and stuff like that so you could be more of a participant in their life at this time with this energy and helping them or just yeah more of a participant in their education at this time and you could be nurturing your relationship with your children and that could be very transformative within itself too and it may even like transform you for some of you, you could be new moms and dads and sometimes you know when we go when we have babies if you were a wild child like like um before you had your kid your kid may make you settle down so for some of you this could be you know after baby a very emotionally transformative time period for you don't rest on pretty at this time don't rest on your laurels because i do see you um i do see this being a very competitive time for you with this energy okay i love you my rams show your love and support to your girl marie by liking subscribing and sharing kisses Mwah.